fellow native fish collectors. I am out in the Red River Gorge today here in Kentucky. I wanted to demonstrate some native fish seining techniques. A lot of people like to use dip nets when they sain and that's it's very limited. There are a good place for dip nets, but I like to use a six foot seine. This is a Douglas Net Company a six by four seine. And I'm going to seine this ripple behind me using a pitch and kick technique. Um, I'm going to do, do this multiple times all the way down the stream. I'm going to start at the, at the top, work my way down regardless of what I catch, um, just to demonstrate how one person can use a seine. Uh, this method also works with multiple people, but you still can use a seine with one person. Um, I've tried this. Four foot is a little too limited. Eight foot is a little bit too hard to handle when the, when the bag is full. So I like a nice six foot seine. And I'm going to go ahead and do the pitch and kick technique all the way down this river. So it's a pretty simple technique, throwing the net out in front of you, kicking, disturbing the rocks on your way down. I think I caught fish every single time. This works really great for darters. Uh, decent for shiners if they live in the faster waters. I'm gonna lay out a few fish here. There's just a few fish that I caught in that, that very last net pool. Again, a great way to catch darters, some shiners. Uh, shiners are a lot harder, especially by yourself. These are very good darters, pretty common here in the Red River in Kentucky, throughout most of the Kentucky drainage system. These are small banded darters. And there you have it. The, pitch and kick. As you can see, I just was throwing the net down, kicking my way down, picking the net up, and rinse and repeat every single time all the way down the stream. So you always want to start at the top. Don't disturb the area you're about to seam, and then work your way down to the bottom to where you want to stop, and then you can come back up, move over, do it over and over. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.